Sucker Punch will one shot me from full. Here it is, y'all. Here I'm putting in the work now. Now it's putting in the work. That's two KOs. What is up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation G Wi Fi battles. Here in Black is another legendary that is allowed with Regulation G, with the rules being announced recently. Uh, this thing has some crazy stats. It's, if you guys missed the recent video, I actually recently featured Kieran White. That had a 170 special attack stat. It's pretty much the inverse of Kieran White. I think it has like 170 something uh, attack. It's pretty much the attack form of uh, Kieran. So instead of Kieran White being special attack, this is the physical variant of it. It also has a decent speed stat of I think it's 95. So like the same speed as the other one. It also has a, a really solid... It has an okay, I guess. I wouldn't really say like a crazy physical move pool, but it has some decent physical move pool options, some okay coverage. The main thing that makes it really good, though, is like the Dragon Ice typing is really good offensively. It's getting the same typing as Baxcalibur, but kind of the main thing is this thing is a million times better, like stat-wise, than Baxcalibur. But at least what we're going to feature today is kind of the same thing as Baxcalibur, what it usually likes to do, which is like loaded dice, which is like scale shot and icicle spear. But with this here in black, which has way better stats. So that's kind of what we're going to try to showcase today. The team from Doomnik, if you guys want to use this team, rental code up in the corner. Pokey Pace should be down below in the description. I'm going to kind of run through this team. We're going to hop in some games. Uh, really interested to use this team because I think here in black is kind of being slept on right now. The main reason why you don't really see it very much, I think, is because it gets intimidated, spammed. There's a lot of stat lowering stuff going around right now, like breaking swipe. Mainly Intimidate Spam from Incineroar, Parting Shot Spam from Incineroar, Grim Snarl. Uh, there's a few other things that just lower your attack or like your stats that are also really common right now. So, I think that's why Kieran Black, you ain't really seeing it as much because if you want to use it, you're kind of forced to go into Clear Amulet, otherwise you get Intimidate Spams. But it also has some really solid stuff you can do with Loaded Dice. This, this one's actually a Loaded Dice set with Terra Fairy. With Terra, or with Loaded Dice, the skill shots, you get a plus one speed boost. And with Icicle Spear coming off of like that crazy attack stat, like you're just going to be doing a shit ton of damage to everything. If you pair that alongside with the the Gouging Fire, which I think is probably booster speed energy uh, or booster energy speed boost, you can get a, a really fast howl off and start doing some damage and like some damage mitigating with, howl, with a breaking swipe and that type of thing. So it's kind of what you're going to be pairing with. You also got the Mind Shell on this team with the Eject Pack. With the fake out close combat knockoff and wide guard me to deal with a lot of the spread moves going around calyrex groudon kyogre a bunch of other stuff uh, calyrex ice but the av really boom just a really standard set with the terra fire uh standard ogre pond water and then you got metal colt golden go with nasty plot set up with terra fairy so the one thing i'm seeing on the team is a lot of terra fairy uh terras at least like i don't know if they're offensive or defensive terras they look like they're all, all defensive so we're going to see how that actually does. I don't know about that, at least on paper. But we'll see how that does when we actually play this team. But apart from that, let's hop into some games. See how it does. All right, we're here with the game. My opponent's running a Groudon Sun team. So this is going to be real fun to go against. I'm using an Ice type into the Fire types and the stuff that's good in Sun. So that's going to go really well. What do I do here? I guess Ogre Pond, like, Ogre Pond ain't too bad into his team. Like, the only shitty thing is, like, I don't, like, if he's, he has Sun, like, I just get all my damage reduced. It's not the main problem. I gotta bring Mayan Shao again, because he has Groudon, so he's gonna try to spam Eruption or, uh, Precipice Blades. So I'm forced to bring the Mayan Shao. It's also good into the King Gambit. It forces him to go for Terra, so I ain't too bad. What else do I bring here? Could go Gouging Fire lead too. I guess ain't too bad. Gouging Fire. I'll go Gouging Fire lead. I'll bring the Kiram in the back. I think Terra Fairy Kiram ain't too bad into him. Now, I'm going to bring the Ogre Pond because I think even just spamming the Grass type moves aren't too bad. I can still do solid damage with uh, Wood or with Horn Leech. So, see how it goes. 
guys like the videos, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep on bringing you guys away. There's a ton of stuff that I have not even featured yet. You guys have been requesting me to find a, a cause Moem team as well around that mon, which is actually now legal. I have not found a team with that on it yet, but if I do find a team with cause Moem, I'll feature it for you guys. I think it's gonna be an absolute disaster, but it should be pretty funny, at least for you guys. So I'm gonna try to find one. I'm gonna have a lot of people request to try to find one of those teams, so. I could fake out here. I'm gonna fake out. Actually, I can't really fake out. I'm, there's a, the problem with Mind Shell is it's weak to Fairy. That's the main problem with Mind Shell. And like you're weak to Flutter Main, so like I can fake out here, but like I get one shot at my Flutter Main on this turn anyways, so. I'm just gonna wide guard. I, I'm gonna bypass the fake on. I'm just gonna wide guard, I think. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the fake out here. I'm gonna go for fake out and then I'm gonna try to one shot the flutter main here. I think Heat Crash in the sun probably one shots him. So I'm gonna go for that here. He protects, okay. If he goes for a dazzling gleam, I'm gonna be really mad. Because I could have went for wide guard and I would have got a free kill. It's for Moon Blast on the fire. So I live that. That's perfect, actually. I'd rather have it go on the fire. Because you're dead. You should not live. Okay, goodbye. Flutter main being gone. That's huge. Huge turn one. Don't have to worry about the Mind Shell getting one shotted anymore. So I'm glad he went for that. If I were him, I would have just took out the Mind Shell. That, that would have been one of my play. Because Midless, he does not know what Mind Shell does. His own gouging fire was his speed boost. His speed boost. So. It's probably going to be a speed tie here, actually, between both of these mons. It's going to be a speed tie. If he goes for burning ball work, it could be kind of bad. I'm just going to break this one. We're breaking swipe here. I have wide guard. That's the good thing I have. So if he wants to go for breaking swipe, I block that. There's the break. There's the wide guard clutch. Wide guard clutch. Show me precipice blades. Or eruption. And I, I'll block that shit, too. I'll speed him. I mean, I guess that's not a surprise. I am speed boost, too. Yes, he crash. That just fucking one-taps me, okay? Even at minus one. So, what do I do here? I think... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the key room. What, I, what this is going to do here is it's going to force him to go for Terra, I think. What I'm, gonna for, I'm forced to go for Terra Fairy here, otherwise I take... I get a shit ton of damage done to me by breaking swipe now. So I'm forced to go Terra Fairy here. It comes down to if he goes Terra on this turn, though. Does he go Terra Fire? If he goes Terra Fire, then he resists my ice moves, or do I make the neutral play and go for Scale Shot here? Predicting him to just go for Terra. I'm going to go for Scale Shot. I'm going to make a crazy play. And then I'm going to break and swipe here again. Oh, I'm going Terra first. That's not a good sign. If he doesn't Terra here, I'm going to be really mad because I could have got rid of the Groudon. I don't think Breaking Swipe kills him. Or, uh... Yeah, he doesn't even Terra. Oh, wow. I'm shocked. I am shocked. He's outspeeding me, too, so, like, I'm not sure my EV spread on this thing, but... He might just be max speed. I have to look at my EV spread. Unless he's just getting really lucky with turns. I don't think this is going to kill... I got a crit, maybe that'll help me. I need a five shot, I don't think a five shot even kills. I need a crit, and yeah, I don't get a crit, so. At minus one defense, I think I get one-shotted by a... Uh, probably a heat crash here. Or heavy slam. I live, I live, how do I live? I'm at minus one. I guess it's because he's at minus two attack, that's why I lived. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to protect on this turn, and then I'm going to breaking swipe again, I think, on this turn. Because I think the Entei, or I think the, the, the Gouging Fire, what he's going to do, he knows he outspeeds me, so he's going to try to target down the QRM. I'm hoping he targets the QRM with, like, Heat Crash or whatever else he has here, and then I can get a free, some free damage on him gonna protect here as well so that's good okay that's good I should live this it's gonna be a roll whether I live I do live 
So it's just a, a fight between the gouging fires who can lower each other's attack the most. That's what this is. What I'm going to do here, I think actually, yeah, they're both 100. Actually, scale shot is 90% accurate, so. I'm actually going to go for Icy or Ice Icicle Spear here. If he Terra's now, like it, at this range, it should still kill him, so I'm not really too worried. And I could go for Breaking Swipe here, but I don't know if that really matters. If I live, I'm going to go for Howl. I think that's my play on this turn. Because he's at minus one again. There's a chance I can live this. It, he's got the high roll. There's a small chance I could maybe live there. It would have been a roll. He got a high roll there. Icicle Spear gets rid of him. I'm really even surprised he actually outspeeds me at plus one, because I'm at plus one speed and he's still outspeeding me. It's really surprising. Stun's gone now, though. Let's see if he's booster. He is booster. That's surprising because he has Growled on, so usually a lot of the teams that have Growled on, they don't even bother running Booster on a lot of their stuff. He has Walking Wake. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. Only shitty thing, though, is if he goes for Terra here, though. I think Terra, if he goes like Terra Water, it's not the worst thing because I can go for Fusion Bolt on the next turn, but. I don't know if like a scale shot if he goes Terra, if that'll actually kill him from this range. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect on this turn. I need to get rid of this Entei. I mean, the Entei is at so low of... I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know if the Entei is really that much of a threat, though, because he's at such low attack. I think he's at, like, what, minus? He's at minus three array, so I don't even think it really matters. I, I'm at plus one speed, so I'm going to go for scale shot and hopefully I land. And then I'm going to follow me here. He's going to Terra. If you are Terra Water and I never went for a Fusion Bolt, I'm going to be mad. It's Terra. Okay, well, that's not too bad, actually. Terra Fire ain't bad. That ain't too bad. So this is a neutral play as long as I land the scale shot. Breaking Swipe. It's fine. I don't care. I just need to get rid of the, the walking wake. I need this to kill. I might, I might need a crit. That's not doing enough damage. It's not really doing enough. I need a crit here. I need a crit on one of these, please. Oh, it's going to be a roll. It's going to be a roll. I only land four times. That's no good. That's no good. Terra boosted flamethrower. Okay. That sucks. That's unfortunate. It really is. I'm gonna go for Icicle Spear because I think Icicle Spear at this range should still kill him. And then I'm I'm forced to go for Follow Me here again though. He's a surrenders. Okay. Okay. Is his only attacking move is like does he only have Breaking Swipe? I'm assuming that's why he surrendered because there was still a chance he could win there because especially if he had Burning Ball work. I'm Terra Fairy, so like if I would click like Scale Shot onto him. And I would have still had a chance to get burned, but like I'm not that dumb. But still, there still was that chance. I guess he could have to maybe win. I'm assuming the only move he had was burning or was a uh, breaking swipe. I'm assuming that's why he surrendered. I don't know. He was booster energy, so he wasn't locked in. So I don't know why. I guess I don't know. I mean, he's at minus three attack as well. So even then, I think even if he did have another move, I probably would have lived. That's probably why he was like, oh yeah, there's no way I win now. Because he outspeeds me and he's going to go for follow me again, blah, blah, blah. So, not bad. Solid game. See you guys in another match. All right, we're here with another team. My opponent has the Cresselia, Groudon, Venusaur, Garganical. It's kind of interesting. Raging Bolt and Urshifu. I'm, that probably might be Urshifu Dark. I'm not sure. I don't know why he'd run Urshifu Water on a Sun team. My opponent has a really weird team. I don't know. He has Cresselia there, too. I, it, like, was he running, like, half trick? He might be running Trick Room. He might be running, like, a slow ground on. He could be. I'm not sure, though. I, I want to bring the Mayan Shao again. Mayan Shao looks really good here. Mainly just for Wide Guard. 
I think the reason why he has Garganical, I think Garganical gets Wyatt Guard. That's probably why he has it on his team, just mainly for that. Apart from that, I don't know what it really does. Spams Recover and Salt Cure. I think that's all it really does. What else do I want to bring here? For this is Rillaboom. What's this? I don't have Stomping Tantrum on this Rillaboom, unfortunately, which is kind of bad. I, don't know, I think I bring Mind Shell. I'm going to bring Cure. I'm going to leave with Cure. I'll bring that here. Golden Go ain't too bad. And I'm running out of time. I'm going to bring the Gouging Fire, I guess. And I'll bring Golden Go in the back. I mean, Golden Go ain't too bad if because he can't split, spam Sleep Powder or like Poison moves. But usually, if you're running Venusaur, you're running Weather Ball with Sun. So I don't think it matters that much. I'll still probably get one shotted by him. Let's leave the Venusaur too. So now I gotta choose what do I go for fake out on here. And if, I, and if I go for fake out, like if he spams precipice blades here, like eruption, then I'm gonna be in a bad spot still. So like I, I don't know, I'm in a really bad spot here. What do I want to do? Because I think if I go wide guard, then he outspeeds me. If he has sleep powder, then he puts the cure him to sleep, which is kind of the main problem. I don't know. I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna fake the Venus. Actually, I'm gonna fake the. I'm gonna fake out the Groudon here. I'm gonna fake out the Groudon and then I'm gonna go for uh I think he might go Terra Fire here. I think one of these mons goes Terra Fire, so I'm gonna scale shot here. Goes protect, okay. So that tells me he probably has sleep powder. Show me sleep powder. Show me it missing, please. Wow, they missed! It missed! It missed on cue. On cue. Oh, it's unfortunate he never tear it though, because I don't think it's actually kill him. I need a five hit. I need a five hit to get a kill here. It's no good. The one time I need the five hit to get the kill. That would have been crazy play. That would have been just so lucky and it didn't work. I'm just gonna go wide guard here. I'm gonna go wide guard. I could go out into golden go to dodge a sleep powder, I guess, but I don't know. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the Golden Goal. Because I think even with the plus one speed boost, I don't outspeed the Venusaur. I think he still outspeeds me because in, in Sun, he gets double speed. It's not it's a plus two speed, so. There's Sleep Powder. There's the good as gold. Now I just have to... Oh, he actually has Swords. That's scary. Swords Dance is scary. I'm gonna wide guard here again. I'm gonna wide guard. I could go for make it rain. I don't know how much damage I would actually do to the Groudon though. I'll go for that anyways. I want solid damage here. I need some damage. Earth power. Do I live? I do live. Surprised it doesn't have Weather Ball, because Weather Ball probably would have one-shotted me there. So that's kind of surprising. I never Terra it either, because I want to save my Terra for the Kyurem. If I, I think the Kyurem, having the Terra Fairy might be a little bit better, especially if he has her Shifu in the back, so... He just one-shots the... Mind Shell. So he has Protect, Sword Stance, Heat Crash, probably Precipice Blades. I'm going to the Kyurem again, because I, I should outspeed him. He's kind of forced to go for pr uh, Protect on this turn. Otherwise he dies, or he goes Terra. He does have her Shifu, so that's not very good, but I'm, I'm kind of forced to Terra here now. It's a dark version. Is that the dark? I think it's the dark version. Yeah, it is the dark version, so... I could Terra on this turn, which I think I might will. I think I'm going to Terra here. I'm going to Terra and I'm going to go for Scale Shot on the Groudon. He could go for Protect here too, which he could probably do. But 
And then I'm just gonna make it rain for damage. I think the gold and gold die is to the Urshifu here. What this is gonna come down to, it's gonna come down to the gouging fire and the cure in the late game again. That's what this match is gonna actually outspeed. Okay. He's running a really slow Urshifu. I don't think this actually kills him. I should've just went for Icicle Spear. I keep expecting him to go for Terra Fire, but... Nah, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead on this turn. If he has Heavy Slam, I'm dead. I, I always... Okay, he's running no speed. No speed or Shifu on this team. Don't know how I outsped. So that tells me he might have Crest. If he has Crest and he sets up Trick Room, he still maybe can win. Wicked Blow, that's good. I want the golden goal to go down, just mainly because I'm at minus two now, so I can't do any damage anyways. So that that's great. So that gouging fire, and I still have free sun, so I don't have to burn my booster energy here yet either. He has Garganic Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I don't even know what, what does Garganical even do to me? Like, what the fuck do you even do to me, bud? I'm just gonna Icicle Spear. I'm gonna Icicle Spear and then I'm gonna go for Howl. Like, what the fuck do you even do to me? I mean, I guess he can go for a Roth move on the Entei, but... What are you, Stellar? You're Poison. That doesn't matter. Unless you have Sucker Punch, maybe, but... I, I don't know, I don't think a Sucker Punch will one-shot me from Fool. Here it is, y'all. Here I'm putting in the work now. Now it's putting in the work. That's two KOs. Well, I guess technically it's only one, but I guess I did the majority of the work on the Groudon. Same with the Venusaur. I got just the majority of the damage to both of those. I guess Salt Cure. I don't care. I don't know what... what the fuck Garganical even does. Like, apart from Salt Cure, probably Wide Guard, Recover. Don't know what else he has. Maybe Protect to just stall me out, but even then, like, you're just freely letting me set up then. I click Icicle Spear, and then I click Howl again. Unless he has goes for Protect, but then I get a free boost, so... You're giving me a free Howl boost again, but... Not smart. I think he surrenders. I think he just surrenders here. I'm gonna go for Breaking Swipe, because it should do a bunch of damage. Yeah, he just surrenders. He's like, yeah, I, I lose. I fucked up, I lose. I'm surprised he never Terrad. Like, yeah, I think he, if he would have Terrad the Groudon or even like the Venusaur, I don't know what Terras they were, but if, if he would have Terrad both of those, I think he would have had a way better chance to win the match. I think he waited way too long to try to Terra. And the Terra Poison never really helped him at all anyways there. Didn't do anything for him, so. I think that's kind of my main, or like the main problem my opponent had there. Not bad though. Two games in a row, we're 2-0, and doing really good. Let's see if we can make it 3-0. and Alright, we are the game. My opponent's running the sweaty Calyrex Shadow Rider. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to go against. Calyrex, Ogre Pond, Landorus for Intimidate Spam. Tornadus, Indeedee, and Blood Moon, Ursaluna. So this is going to be a fun game to play. Jumping for joy, having to play against Calyrex. Oh, is that fun. I mean, the good thing is, though, like, he has... The, the Kyurem's actually really good into him because... Like, look at his team. Like, he has nothing that resists, like, Ice or, like, Dragon. Which is one good thing, unless he has Terras, but... Like, the Kyurem, at least, like, move-wise, is pretty good into him. It hits everything for at least neutral damage or super effective. So I'm gonna try to bring it here. I'm gonna try to bring it. I could bring the... I'm gonna have force to bring Mind Shao again. Just mainly for Calyrex. What else do I want to bring here? 
Ogre Pond. I'm, I'm gonna bring the Ogre Pond. It doesn't look too bad. My last Mon's kind of up up in the air. I think I'm gonna bring the I'm gonna bring the Dorilla Boom to try to get rid of his terrain. That's what I try to do. If he has Psychic Terrain, I'm gonna try to switch out and get a, get his terrain switched. Lando Calyrex. Let me guess this is a uh, choice Lando. If he's not choice, though, I can outspeed him, but... I just can't do anything to him, because, like, I'm forced to wide guard here. I don't know, I'm just going to wide guard. I'm going to go for Icicle Spear. I mean, what else? Yeah, what does he have in the back? I can actually switch in to take this. I guess at minus one, it's not really that much of a threat anyways, if I'm being real, but... I'm going to go after the Calyrex here, I think. He could protect on this turn due to Scout. He might do. I'm going to Scale Shot. I'm going to Scale Shot so I get the speed boost, and then I'm going to go for a wide card. Just going to straight up withdraw, so I'm glad I went after Calyrex. Unless he protects. Otherwise, he gets a free switch. Here comes the Ndidi. Unless he goes for Expanding Force, and I make a really good prediction here. This booster seed. Show me expanding force. There it is. There it is. Perfect. It comes down to if this thing actually, like, if I can actually even outspeed him at plus one, though. Because, like, Calyrex, I think, is, like, base 150. I'm 95. So I don't even know if I even outspeed him at plus one speed. This is not even a KO on me, either. Like, this doesn't do enough. I need like two crits and I don't even get any, so. Like the, the shitty thing now is too is like he's able to just go for follow me over and over. And that's I can't really do much. I can go for scale shot again. I can try to go for scale shot again, just keep spamming wide card. And then eventually I'll outspeed him, hopefully. He's Terra. What Terra are you, bud? Terra. Oh, he's Terra Fairy, so he has Draining Kiss. Or he could have Terra Blast, too. We'll see if he's actually Terra Blast. Terra Blast probably just one-shots me, actually. He goes for Follow Me here, 100%. Oh, he actually has Terra. That's, I'm dead. I'm dead. I live. I live on 50. How? I'm not doing enough damage, though. Like, that's the problem I'm having here. I'm not doing nearly enough damage to him. This is going to be a 50. No, this turn here is a 50 50 play. So, like, he's going to follow me here again. But the, the thing is, like, does he predict me to just keep spamming wide guard? Or does he go for Terra Blast on this turn again? I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect, and then I'm going to go for, uh... I could close combat here to get my... So I'm able to switch out. That's, I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to close combat on this turn. Into the Calyrex. If he goes for Expanding Force here, though, I'm going to be really mad. Because this is a 50-50 play, and I need to get this right to stay in the match. Oh, there it is. I'm fucked. I should have just kept on spamming white guard. I don't know why I fucking switched that I'm fucked. So now I'm going to get swept by Calyrex. Oh, this is fun. This is so fun. There's still a small chance I can maybe win here, though, because I'm at plus two speed. I'm at plus two speed here, and I actually change his terrain. Which I maybe should have did earlier. I probably should have switched out earlier and changed his terrain, so he wouldn't have been able to do that. I figured I'd maybe be able to set up and kind of play around it, even with him having terrain. It didn't really work the, the greatest. 
So I'm at plus two speed. I think at plus two speed, I should be able to outspeed him. Check my EV spread here. Oh, I'm not running much speed. I'm not running much speed. I don't know. With that little amount of speed, I don't think I'll outspeed him at plus two. If he's max speed, he probably still outspeeds me. That sucks. YOLO. We got a YOLO here, though. YOLO. I have Grassy Glide, but at Grassy Glide, I don't think he even kills the Ndidi. And like at this range, I have Fake Out, I guess I can go for. Which I actually think I can do here. I'm going to go for Fake Out. I'm going to Icicle Spear here. And then I'm going to Fake Out the... Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a uh, Scale Shot again. And then I'm going to Fake Out here. That way, I'm at plus three SP. I should be able to outspeed him. He has to Protect. I gotta land this this scale shot. This scale shot's the most crucial one of the game. I can't miss. Okay, I land. The, the Indeedee should be gone. There's still a chance I can maybe win. It, we're down and out right now, but there's a small sliver of a chance I can maybe pull this back. Because now he, he can't follow me anymore, so I have Grassy Glide. I think from this range, Grassy, Grassy Glide might take out the Kali Rex. I don't know if he's low enough, though. It's gonna be a real, It's gonna be a really close roll. Yeah, really, he has Ursa Luna too. That's good for me though, because he has no Terra either, so. I'm in a kind of a weird spot here. I'm just gonna go for Icicle Spear. I'm gonna go for Icicle Spear. I'm at minus one, which is kind of the shitty thing. I could just switch out into the Ogre Pond too, but I, I think I'm, the Kyrams has such low health to where I don't even think it pays really saving it. I'm, pet, I'm better off just trying to get as much damage as I, as I can here. And then I'm gonna Grassy Glide and hopefully this takes him out. If I were him, I would actually switch into the Incineroar, which he's going to do. There it is. I, I was, was going to think about it. I was like, oh, yeah, you might probably just switch here. Or, or not Incineroar, Landorus. To get the, the double Intimidate off here. Grassy Glide doesn't do anything. He has Vacuum Wave. That I live clutching. That does, I'm not going to be able to even do anything, though. I'm at minus two. I get a crit. I need two crits. I need two crits, or I need five hit KO, please. Give me five. Give me a crit, please. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I have Grassy Glide, though. If I can go for Grassy Glide here, and that should take him out. I protect, protect the Kyurem on this turn. That's what I do. I protect Kyurem. And I go for Grassy Glide here. If he go, U-turns out, I should be able to take a U-turn. I, and then I can, I still have my terrain, so I can outspeed him. I'm also at plus three speed, so I should, at, out, at plus three speed, I should be able to outspeed Kyler Rex. You know, like, unless he's choice banded, or like choice banded Landorus, like, I think I should be able to easily take a U-turn. He can't Terra either, so... He's not Terra flying. Get rid of the Ursa Luna. That's huge. That's great. What does he have? What is he going to go for here? Oh, he does a U-turn. Into the Kyurem. Oh, that's perfect. I'm not sure if he's Scarfed, though. I, I don't think it really matters that much, because like I'm at plus three speed. Here's what it all comes down to, y'all. What I'm going to do right here, we're going to find out if he's choiced. I'm going to go for Icicle Spear. I'm forced to go for it on the Landris, because if the Calyrex protects and he, he takes me out, then I can have a chance to still lose. And then I'm going to go for Grassy Glide. I'm at minus one attack, but we'll see how this protection kills. He lives! He lives! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I think I lose. I mean, he has no terrain, though, so, like, I guess, I guess still Astral Barrage. Yeah, there's Astral Barrage. I'm a Soul Vessel, so I should, should still live. Oh, I eat that. I think I still win. I think I should still win here. I think I have one turn of terrain left, though. I still have Terra, too. I can still go for Terra on the Ogre Pond. That's why I wanted to save the Terra for the Ogre Pond. 
just for this specific situation to where if I need the Terra to get the special defense boost, I can. I'm gonna go for Terra now. I think what he does here, he's gonna go for Protect on this turn to, to stall out the grassy terrain. That's what he does here. That's just how he wins the game, tries to win at least. It's gonna come down to whether he actually, I actually live a plus one Astro Barrage. That's what this match is going to come down to. Oh, there's the Protect. I think this is my last turn of terrain. So my opponent's running Terra Blast, Fairy, and then dual like spread move with expanding force and astro barrage and then protect. That's his entire move set. Very common. That's like the most common one. I don't know what his item is, but it's probably the most common one. He's probably Sash, if I were to guess. Probably focus Sash. It's gonna come down to whether I live a plus one astro barrage here, y'all. Can the Ogre Pawn at plus one spit F live this? Let's look at my EV spread real quick. Is this an offensive one? It's or it's has not much spit F. That's not good. That's not good. Grassy Glide's not priority either because it's there's no terrain, so. YOLO. YOLO. Do I live? I live. Both live. Both of them live. Get out of here. I worked my ass off for this win. Give me my fucking win, damn it. Holy fuck. Gosh, I hate going against Calyrex. This team specifically, like this team, like I have okay stuff like with wide guard, but the instant thing mine shot went down there with that 50-50 play of like clicking, clicking wide guard or just going for an attacking move there, like that's where the game changed. That made it so difficult to win the match. I'm surprised I won. I played my ass off. I deserved to win, though. I played my fucking ass off. Holy shit. If you guys want an absolute barn burner banger match, right there it is. That's your banger match for the day. I don't think you'll find another classic, like, down-to-the-wire competitive match like that any time soon. Or at least for, for today. Let's talk a little bit about this team. You guys are looking for a pretty solid Kieran Black team. I think this is a pretty solid team. I had fun with this team. This is one of the funner teams I've used recently. Really fun team. Kieran Black, I know that both the Kirims are really fun to use. I enjoyed using both of them. I had, like, the, the if you guys missed the Kirim White team we used recently, like, the last few videos. If you guys missed, I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video, probably on screen if you guys missed it. But that was one of my favorite teams to use so far, and this one's also another really fun team to use. I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but I had fun using it. It's a really fun one. So, if you guys want to use it, rental hold up in the corner, pokey paste down below. I think the only thing I would change with this team is probably the Terra on the Kirim. I think the, the Fairy Terra, like having so many Fairy Terras on this team as well, is kind of really weird. I would change a few of the Terra. I think the one for Golden Go, I'd change that to maybe like Terra Dragon or something else. I think that the Fairy Terra on the Golden Go doesn't really do anything most times. Or at least from the matches I played and when I play with it, the Terra. The Fairy Terra didn't do shit for me at all. I was better off just like having like no Terra most of the time anyways, so. I think for like a defensive Terra, I would rather have like, I don't know, even like Terra Steel, I think would be a little bit better on this team. Terra Steel or like Terra Dragon or some different Terra for the Golden Go, I think would be a little bit better. And then at least for the Kyurem, what I would do with the Kyurem is I would change the Terra to like Terra Poison. I think Terra Poison, at least with this team, works a lot better than Terra Fairy. Because Terra Fairy, you're still weak to Steel. You're still weak to... I mean, you make yourself weak to Poison, but like... The main thing is still Steel types. Which you don't want to really be going against anyways. I know you have the Gouging Fire there, but like... There's a lot of other Steels like... Uh, Dialga, Sashi, and... Well, there's a few teams, a few games I went against Sashi in... In my testing matches and got destroyed. Because there was nothing I could really do in the... The Gouging Fire with Heat Crash into Zashi and does like 30 base damage. I think it's like 40 base power or something. It's really weak, so you're not going to be doing shit into that anyways. And you, this team really doesn't have much for Zashi. So if you guys are playing this team, 
be careful for Zacian because this team does not have much for it. Because Heat Crash does not do that much damage into it. I think it's, it's a pretty low base power, so it can easily live. It has really good stats. It can easily live like two or three of them, depending on their build. I don't know, I'd go Terra Poison. That way you're, you also have, you can dodge the Dragon type moves, which I think is the main thing it's going for. You can dodge the Fighting type moves, and you can also dodge the, the Fairy type moves. I think it'd be a little bit better overall for this team. You make yourself weak to ground types, but like you're also an ice type. So the majority of the ground types you're going against anyways, you can hit them for super effective damage. So it's not really too much of a problem. You, you know, like most times you force them to go Terra anyways. So I think that'd be a little bit better for this team. But otherwise, pretty solid team. That's kind of the only thing I at least have to critique with the team just kind of using it. The other thing too is like the, the Mayan Shell. I understand why it has eject pack, but at least for me, like in all my matches, I never use it once. I know why it's there. It's for the close combat to get the stat drops and you get a free switch after going for fake out or not not needing it in anymore just to sw swap it out into something else. But at least for me, I never use that at all. Most of the, like I never even got to click close combat most of the time because I was forced to click either fake out or did, when I did bring it, I was just forced to spam wide guard nonstop and it wasn't even really even do much damage. So I, don't, I understand why it's there. I just wish, at least for me personally, there was a little bit more of a beneficial item. Like, I think Focus Sash should be a little bit better, but I don't know. I know what's, why it's there. That's kind of just more of a nitpicking kind of thing, at least for my taste for the team, but it doesn't really make it bad or anything. That's kind of more of personal preference. If you guys like the team, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I got a bunch more stuff on the way you guys not want to miss. All your guys' support really helps me keep on bringing you guys daily videos. I'm going to kind of try to keep bringing daily videos to you guys as long as I can until... I start running out of teams, or we go through like all the the restricted mods coming back, or I one of those type of things, or stuff starts slowing down. We'll see how it goes. But without further ado, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed. See you guys in the next video.